everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Julie, and if you haven't been here before, hi, I'm a lip addict. <laughs> okay, so this is my 18 and 2018 update. I'm only panning lip products in 2018 in this project. I chose 18 of them. If you want to see the entire list, check down in the info bar. I finished up a couple, I've decluttered a couple. This month, actually, I didn't finish any of them, nor am I decluttering any of them, which I'm very surprised about. But I, once again, I'm just making steady progress across the board. I'm only going to show you the products they've actually used, which is awesome. And then I'll show you my progress on those. And then the other ones will remain a mystery until I start using them. <laughs> and if you want to see swatches of everything, go ahead and check out my intro. I'll link it up above. And um, that's where you're going to see swatches of all these products. But I've got quite a pile here because this month I was like all across the board. <laughs> I had a couple... Um, project pans, I had a couple new project pans, and so I was kind of using a lot of everything, which is why I've got steady progress across the board instead of finishing one up. So let's start with a lip gloss that I thought that I'd do very well on, and I have. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Dolly, and you can see I was there last month, I am now there that month. Actually, I'm slightly below that line, it looks like I mismarked it. Um, and I'm very happy with this progress. I only used this for about half a month, so that's only two weeks worth because I put in this Rimmel Show Off. This is what I got on my list today. How metallic is that? Isn't that awesome? And this is in the shade Out of This World 300. I love these Rimmel uh, lip glosses. I wish they still made them. They don't, which is why I'm panning it. And the, the formula is just so smooth. And that's what I really like about it. It's just this smooth, full pigment gloss. But because I put this in my Disney Project Pan, I am not using my Buxom anymore. So even though I knew I was able to finish this one up in like probably one, one and a half more months, I'm going to have to put a hold on that until I use this up, which is go. I think that Project Pan is going to November. So like hopefully I use this up before November so I can go back to that one because it'd be nice to use it both this year, which is why it's in this project, Julie. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Okay, another lip product I've been using on and off, but unfortunately I cannot show you progress on, is the YSL Tint in Oil. This is the shade number eight. Um, this is going strong. Ooh, got a little drip there. So, as you can see, there's actually more liquid on the doe foot than there was last month. So, I don't know if maybe because now this is laying upright instead of laying down, if that made a big difference, but... Since I can't show you any progress on it, I'm just going to let you know, I used it like six times. So, whatever that means. <laughs> I also used this Kat Von D in the shade Double Dare. This is their liquid lipsticks. And uh, there's no hole in the product yet, but I used this twice. I've been using it about twice a month. So I'm hoping 24 times is enough to use this up. <laughs> I need to focus, focus on this more, but... You know, liquid lipsticks aren't really what I want for the summer. I really do want a bit of a gloss, but meh. There we go. <sighs> what, do we, what do we want to do next, huh? There's so much in front of me. It's almost like a bit overwhelming. I didn't realize how many I used this month until I started like looking at everything, and I'm like, holy moly. <laughs> Julie, you just went all sorts of crazy this month with the products. Okay, this is the sheet where I write everything down on because I want to show you this one next. This is the, what are you? Nude Sticks. This is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Crayon in the shade Ripe. I am not using this as a cheek crayon. I actually think I don't like cream lip products at all. But you can see there, that is where I am on the sheet. So it's this one right here. So this is where I started at the beginning of the year, and now I am down there. Um, I used probably a good centimeter of use, and um, hopefully I'll continue using this and use it up. There's not a whole lot of product in here, so probably after every two uses, I have to sharpen it. As you can see, I sharpened this morning, and that's kind of the point you get on it after sharpening it. I wore this all day. It is so creamy. It feels like a tinted lip balm when you put it on and wear it. And it has um, about the lasting power of a tinted lip balm, too. It doesn't last super long. It lasts about four hours, so I'm still really enjoying that one, so I'm glad it's still in this project. It's actually really interesting. This... Year. Last year there were a bunch of products I didn't like. This year, I kind of like everything. 
<laughs> Except I've already decluttered, but like in general, I'm really enjoying everything I'm using up right now and I'm so happy about it. Like I like the products that I have. How often does that happen in a panders world? <laughs> Not nearly often enough. Okay, so last month I used up two baby lips. This month I added in a new baby lips. This is the quenched, drenched, quenched. Yep, 05 quenched. It's the blue one with pink writing. I was up there last month. I am here now. I use this every night before I go to bed. That's what she looks like. And um, yeah, I have six months to use it up. Wait, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I've got seven months to use it up. I don't think I have any problem with that. Uh, I hope not, at least. Seven months is kind of what I need to use up. <laughs> if you use it once a day for all seven months, do you think it'll be gone? I think so. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, so I also put in this one. This is a mini bite amuse-bouche lipstick in the shade Pepper. This I switched for the movie Jaws in my summer movie project pan. And that is all she wrote there. You can see it's just a little travel size. Um, and I was there, but now I'm there. I've only used this probably four times. It's a little deep. That's my issue with this one. I don't really want to use it this summer because of the shade of it. It is a, you know, a neutral mauve and it's just not what I want to wear in the summer. But because it's in that summer movie project pan, I'm going to wear it occasionally, but this is not a major focus of mine. I am definitely going to turn to a color like this this fall. But as of right now, no, not what I'm looking for. It's not what I'm looking for. But I do like the consistency of it, and I love the smell of it. If you've never smelled Bite lipsticks, smell them. They smell good. They smell sweet, like fruit. Okay. This is one you haven't seen before, or at least not since the beginning of the year. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche 172 Blush and Sequin. I started using it this month because I knew I was going to put this in my Disney Project pan. And look how fast I've gone through it. That's where I was at the beginning of the year, and that's where I am now. It is amazing on how fast I've gone through this. Like, look how much is left. Like, it was so much more. It was almost double that. I have been using this a lot. It is a great, bright, sunny color. I wish we could still find these. Unfortunately, um, I don't know where to find these lipsticks anymore. I think they're discontinued. But the shade is so like you ate a popsicle on your lips. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm like, oh, I wish I had another one of those, but I don't. I don't think I have another one in all 300 lipsticks I own. <laughs> I don't think I have any more of that style of L'Oreal. And I'm really sad because I love that shade and I'm going to be sad to see it go. That's the one that like lives downstairs in front of the TV so like I can apply it while watching TV, because I love doing that. I don't know. Y'all know I'm a lip addict. I will roll my eyes because I think I'm crazy sometimes. <laughs> I might apply lipstick like four times a day, <laughs> maybe five. <laughs> I know I've got problems. You don't need to tell me. Don't rub it in. <laughs> okay, this is my slow and steady progress. This is the Maybelline Peach. Um, I was right there last month. I'm right there this month. Like I'm like just right up next to each other <laughs> in the last three months. And it's just a little nubbin now. I mean, God, I'm using it. I mean, look at that. I'm using it. <laughs> it used to be so much bigger. <laughs> but just a little dab will do ya. This is a really waxy formula. That's why they call it long wearing because it is so waxy. Um, and I like it. It's perfect shade for me. Can you tell I'm just so excited to be talking about this? Look, I can't like wipe the smile off my face. That's how excited I am to be talking about this. This makes me happy. Another discontinued product. I am sad. I don't look good in a whole lot of peaches, but like Ripe and this one have enough earth tone to it to keep me like rooted in what, I, what colors I need. And I'm just in love. I'm in love. So hopefully I'll give this a little bit more love. Uh, in July, and so then we will see some empties next month. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> but wait, there's more! It's like an infomercial. Okay, the Too Faced La Creme lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear. I thought this was going bad, but it now smells fine. I don't know, like it smells completely fine now. So I think maybe I was just going crazy. 
but I, I forgot to measure this. Let's see, how are we doing? Uh, I probably don't need to mark it. It's like right on the same line. Well, that's not helpful. Put one in front of the other. Bank. Yeah, see, it's kind of like right on the same line. And uh, I've probably only used this twice, which is probably why it's on the same line. I like it. It's in my purse. Same with the peach one from Maybelline. I'm OZ reaching for the Maybelline peach one, though. And then, last but not least, I've got this Revlon Colorstay Moisture Stain Lip Product. I was there last month. I am there this month. And this is also in my summer movie project pan. This is what I'm wearing every day. Like, when I get up in the morning and I put on my first lip product, this is it. The stain is beautiful. And the best part is I can put it on before I eat breakfast and this does not end up in my stomach. This doesn't come off on my food. Like, I make oatmeal a lot and this doesn't come off on my spoon when I'm eating it. And it just looks so beautiful and it's so hydrating early in the morning. You know, sometimes you get dehydrated in the summer. And I know I should drink more water, but it helps to have a little moisture on my lips. And this is so good. I love this. Are these still available? Do you know? Are these still available? I'd really like to buy one. Another one. Um, but, so I'm right here. I probably used up, what do you think? Three-fifths of this product already. It's just a little, well, I'll say half. Like I'm right kind of at the half mark, maybe a little bit over that I've used up in three months. So I think I'm gonna be able to use this up by August. Maybe a little bit, before, maybe late August. I'm hoping late August. So if I was a betting woman, which I can be sometimes, <laughs> I honestly do not know which lip product I'm going to use up next. Will you vote down below to see which one you think? I am intrigued. I want to know your thoughts. Which one do you think I am going to use up? Because I think I would have my money on the L'Oreal Riche blushing sequin. But I'm also really using up the peach, the Maybelline peach. And I know how easy it is to go through lip glosses for me. So maybe the Rimmel. But then I look at this one and think, oh, well maybe this one will be the next one I use up. I mean, the most full is the lip gloss, but I think lip gloss is the easiest to go through. But I'm thinking maybe one of these two, because these are the two, these are the three that I'm using every day. So I wanna know your opinion. I wanna know, which one do you think is gonna go? The Maybelline, the L'Oreal, the, are these the Revlon? Oh my God, it's like drugstore heaven over here. <laughs> the Revlon or the Rimmel? I wanna know, which one do you think I'm gonna use up first? I'm hoping to get another empty by next month. So one of those th four I'm gonna really focus on and I'm gonna like pile drive that, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Why would I think that? Like. <laughs> such a weird thing to say. Um, but nevertheless, I'm gonna work on these four um, along with some of the other ones, of course, but these are the four that are my main focus and we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.